Hi guys, welcome to Empower In. My name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel. So I wanted to answer a question that I received an email on and that was about building confidence. So here is the email and this email was from Sean, who gave me permission by the way to use his first name. So he said, Caroline, great job with the YouTube videos and website. They cover very relevant topics and provide great information. I am someone who suffers with tremendous lack of self-confidence in everything in life. I've made it pretty far with my career but feel like I will not reach my goal and ultimately fail at reaching my dream. As someone who is both smart, beautiful as you, how can I overcome this? Sean. Well, Sean, thank you so much for your compliments. It's really sweet that you said that. I mean, honestly, it's almost like I'm reading my own email. I think that we all suffer from this lack of self-confidence in some way and this fear that we will not reach our dream. For me, it's, you know, an everyday occurrence. It's pretty much what you do with that fear. Does the fear paralyze you or does the fear kind of push you? So I know like when I think of confidence, I think of a confident person. You know, they're standing very straight. They have very good posture. They have like almost like a smirk on their face, but it's sexy in a way. They're just exuding this like, you know, I am who I am and you should know who I am kind of aura. And I love that. I wish I could have that. I wish I could exude confidence and exude all of the traits um, that a confident person has. And the truth is that in some areas I do, but in a lot of the areas that I want to grow in and a lot of the things that will lead me towards my dream, I am lacking tremendous self-confidence. I found that the only way to kind of deal with this lack of self-confidence is to push myself to do the things that don't feel good that may potentially put me closer to my dream. So I think when we do suffer from lack of self-confidence, which we all, let's be honest, we all suffer from lack of self-confidence because that's just part of being human. So when we do have these feelings, it's pushing yourself to move forward to do the things that you know you need to do when you don't feel like doing them. And that's what separates the people that succeed from the people that don't do anything. Basically what it does is it questions you. It says, you know, are you good enough? Are you well-spoken enough? Do you have the connections? Do you have what it takes? Do you have the energy? Do you have the time? Can you really do this? So all it does is it, it, it bombards you with these questions. And a lot of times they're questions that, you know, we have a hard time answering positively because it might not be in a very good place to answer them positively. So all that being said, the first thing that I pretty much do is just recognize that this is a feeling that I'm gonna have for the rest of my life. It's not going away. Once I feel like I'm confident in one area, something else will just come up. It's part of being human. We all have the fear of failure. We all have the fear of potentially not reaching our dreams. The second thing I do is I try to find people that are either my age or a lot older and read their stories. I love reading people's, you know, rags to riches stories or, you know, failure to success stories. I love reading those stories because those stories show that, hey, you know, if they can do it, you know, I'm not really that much different than them. So if they can do it, then so can I. So one of the things that I did when I started nursing school was I was really surrounding myself with these kinds of stories. I was Googling all the time rags to riches stories. And you know, it was just listening to these people's hardships and understanding that it's not easy for anyone helped give me the energy to push through with what I felt like I needed to do in order to reach the dream of becoming a nurse. So I started nursing school with tremendous lack of self-confidence. I had no legs to stand on. High school, I, you know, passed by the skin of my teeth, but I just surrounded myself with stories that I can do the impossible. I can change my life. I can change the way I study. I can change the way I learn and I can ultimately change who I am. That's the other step, rags to riches stories. Um, find people, find role models, look them up on the internet. I know the internet can be really discouraging because you see people that are 10, 20, 30 years younger than you and they're already uber successful at the age of 20. And that can be a little bit discouraging because you're like, oh geez, I'm like a lot older than that. So whenever you see those stories that make you feel bad, try to just avoid them and then find stories of people that did it later. And you know, that can make you feel better. The third thing that I do to help build my confidence when I'm really 
really feeling like I have no confidence is I try to remember that this really is a personal journey and life is about the journey and not really about the end result. So I try to remember how far I've come. If you were to see me 10 years ago, you wouldn't be able to recognize me. You wouldn't be able to put that person with me now. In my opinion, that that's a success. So that's what I'll do is I will kind of like, you know, reminisce a little bit and think about the car that I used to dream of driving, which I drive now. I'll think about the places where I thought they were impossible to live, which I live now. Thought at one time it was impossible to meet an amazing guy that, you know, treasured and loved me and, you know, actually I'm living that now. So it's a lot of times about just remembering that, you know, you have already done the impossible. And so it's just reminding yourself of that. The last thing that I wanted to mention is that your lack of self-confidence can be a good thing because you might be able to communicate and connect with people in a way that a confident person couldn't. So I know when I see a really confident person, honestly, a lot of times I don't think that I can talk to that person. There's even nurses to me that come across as really confident and really unapproachable. So I think this process of kind of questioning, um, am I doing it right? Am I connecting with this person? Did I say it right? Or after the conversation, could I have done that better? So it kind of allows us to examine whether there's areas of improvement. I know for sure that almost every single unit that I go to, every director is in my face trying to recruit me. And I really think that it's because I have spent a long time questioning whether that communication went the right way. And when it didn't go as you know I wanted it to go or when I didn't behave as I wanted to behave, I learned from from it. Whereas I think a lot of confident people maybe think that they already know everything and you know they don't need to grow because well they're already confident. <laughs> So Jen, I really hope that you found some of these tips helpful. Ultimately, whatever you feel like your dream is, start taking small steps that could potentially get you to your goal. And I say could potentially because we don't know if we're doing the right thing. Like I have dreams. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. I wish there was a very clear map, like you do this and this and this, and then boom, you'll be there. Unfortunately, there is no one perfect way to raise a child. There is no one perfect way to pass nursing school. There is no one perfect way to be a perfect nurse. There is no one perfect way to run a business. There is no one perfect way to do anything. And everybody's life is very different. So ultimately taking those small steps that could potentially get you closer to that dream really is the goal and doing it no matter how you feel. When you feel bad, just keep going. And eventually, hopefully you'll feel better because you've accomplished a little bit more. So anyways, thank you so much for your question, Sean. I really enjoyed making the video for you. If anybody else has a question, I would love to answer the question for you. So just post it below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please give the video a thumbs up. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you soon. Bye.